Hey everyone, it's Michael from Xano. In this video, I want to cover preconditions. So preconditions are a very handy function because they enforce that something is true in order for our function stack to continue. So if there is some condition that is not met and you need to stop your function stack and throw an error because of this, this is what you would use for a precondition. So right now here on my screen, I just have a very simple example set up. I'm just getting a user record. Like for example, let's look at a couple of them. We have user one, that's Adam. Two, looks like that's Fred. It looks like they have a role. Looks like Fred's an admin. Uh, we have three. We have Bob, he's a manager. So let's say for example, that in order to run this function stack, uh, this user must be an admin, right? So I can use a precondition for that. So I'd go here in my function stack, go to ut utility functions, go to precondition. So right here at the top, we can set the conditions that must be true. So I could go ahead and say that our role from our user, and say user one dot role on that variable must equal admin, right? And so if that's not met, I can choose an error type. I could do standard. I could choose from any of these. I might do access denied for this one. I think that makes the most sense. We could optionally put an error message here. We don't have to. I might just say um, you don't have an admin role, something like that. And then we'll talk about payload here in a second. But let's go ahead and run this. So for example, if I run for user three, that's, I think, Fred. He was an, uh, a manager. If we go to two... Sorry, Fred is the admin, so there you go. You see, role admin. And if I tried to run this for one, we know that that user was staff. So what about payload? So payload allows us to still return some kind of data in case um, this function stack runs into this precondition and throws an error, right? So if there's something, some piece of logic in some variable that happens, up to the point of this precondition, you can go ahead and put it in the payload and still return it, right? You wouldn't put anything that happens after uh, the precondition because you won't have access to that because it wouldn't have run. But let's say that maybe I have some kind of, we'll say API call here. And maybe I still think that um, this has important data in it. And of course, this isn't a real API call. This is just a variable, but maybe this is up here in my function stack. And if my user doesn't have a certain role, I still care about what's in that variable, right? So now if I run this and we hit this precondition because it's user one, well, we still have the payload that says this has important data, right? Maybe it's actual usable data. Uh, but for this simple example, you can see we can include a payload. This error still hits. So maybe your front end is expecting some kind of error. Uh, you can still go ahead and do that. So. Um, there's a precondition for you, once again, enforces that something must be true. It's a little bit different than a conditional, where a conditional will do one thing if true and something else if not. Precondition will actually throw an error and stop your function stack. So hope that was helpful. Definitely a very handy uh, and common function that we see used. Uh, if you like this video, please go ahead, like it, and subscribe to our channel.